Okay, so we're just going to get some practice. We're first going to learn what the distributive property is and then uh, get some practice doing some problems um, using the distributive property. So you use the distributive property whenever you are multiplying by a sum or difference of variables or terms that are not like each other. And so let's write out the definition for numbers A, B, and C. This is true. And we'll, we'll write this out. So if you have a sum, A plus B, times C, then you can distribute this multiplication to the things inside the parentheses. So you'd end up with AC plus BC. Also, when you have a difference like this, you can still distribute the multiplication. So you would have AB minus AC. And that is the definition of the distributive property. Let's do some problems that give us some practice doing that. So here, number one, we have to multiply this term out, simplifying, so there's no parentheses left. So let's just distribute this multiplication. That would give us 12V plus 36T. And that's our answer. In the second one, same sort of deal. You still distribute this out. So 4x times 2y would give us 8. The x and the y don't mix, so we have 8xy minus, since we have a minus here, 4x and um, times minus 8x. And that would give us minus 32. Here the x is due. Um, are like terms, so you can multiply them and you get x squared. So 8xy minus 32x squared is our answer. Here's another problem. It's a little bit longer, but you would still do it the same way. You just multiply the terms, distribute the multiplication out. So minus 2x times minus 6, minus and minus is a positive 12x. Here, minus 6 times 3z would be minus 18z. And then minus 3y and minus 6 would be 18 plus 18y. And that's the answer for number 3. And then finally, one last problem. Same thing. Just distribute it out. So minus 2 times minus 4t cubed would be 8t cubed, since the minuses cancel. As well as here, we should get 4 z squared, and then minus 2 times plus 3 would be minus 6, and that's our answer. So whenever you ha are multiplying by a sum or a difference of terms, like we've done here, then you just distribute that multiplication out, and you can simplify any complicated um, equation this way, and that's the distributive property.